hello from on board MSC's newest and greenest ship, the MSC Eurybia. This is my deluxe balcony cabin. Let me show you around and let's start with the beds. So I've got it made up for twins because I'm here with my sister. Let's get on the bed for starters. I noticed before that the pillows are different. There's a special pillow menu and you get one soft, one hard pillow, which is great because I, I like a nice soft flat one. So it's good to have the variety and I can ask for more if I want it. So let's just get on the bed and actually try it out. Starters, whoa. The sheets do feel nice. This soft pillow also feels really, really good. I actually really like the brown and cream color scheme. It's really nice. It makes the cabin feel nice, opulent and stylish. I like the brown suede headboard. That also helps it feel really plush. And best of all, actually, is the USB socket by the light. There's the socket and it's underneath the lights on both sides of the beds. Now let's move on to the sofa area. I have to point out the artwork, first of all, because you know what, not only do I like it, but it's made from recycled cooking oils. Pretty incredible. Again, as I said before, it's a green ship. Now let's look at this sofa. This is a mega sofa. Look at the size of it. And that's because it turns into a bed. I think this cabin can sleep at least three, if not four people. And this bed and sofa will turn into a bed. It is really, really great. Look at that size. Now let's look at the vanity area. There's lots going on here. Let's start with the stool. It's the suede brown to match the sofa. This pulls out this stacking cube, if you like. And here on top, a table. It's brilliantly designed. Stool so you can bring it out and put it away and make some space. So let's have a look a bit more at this area. First of all, you have these drawers on the edge, these shelves on the edge to make space. And then you've got four drawers here. If I open up this top drawer, there is the hairdryer inside it. I've been using it already. Let me show you the power. Not bad, I've already used it. There you go. And they've really kindly left us two bottles of champagne in the room, one each, one regular bubbles and one pink bubbles. So I'm looking forward to trying those later. Thank you very much, MSC. There's a fruit basket and also look at this. Some nice sweet treats. Mmm. There's a nice big mirror on top of the vanity table. There are some shelves over there as well as a kettle and tea making facilities, which is great. And underneath there is the mini bar. It is stocked. It is not free unless you have a drinks package. And just so you know, the plug sockets are European. I am a big fan of this massive mirror at the foot of the bed. It's huge, it's really, really wide, and it's a good mirror too. Uh, the, the TV is also a good size. It also swivels a little bit on its axis, so you can bend it and angle it towards the bed, which I like. But now let's move on to the cupboards. They are not massive. I've unpacked my stuff. My sister has not unpacked her stuff, but let me show you the cupboards. I do like this wood, by the way. It all feels quite new and sleek and it is the same on a lot of MSC ships. So here we go. There are plenty of shelves, but again, it's not a lot if you're on a two week cruise. I'm not, I'm on a week long cruise and it's a winter cruise, it's quite cold, but you've got you know, three good sized drawers. I've got a few bits and bobs in there. Um, and there's a safe over here. And now I will open up, it's good storage at the top actually. I will open up the other cupboard. They have given us bath towels. So they've wrapped them up there. And I've also got um, slippers here, MSC slippers, so that's good uh, because there's a nice spa on the ship. There is not that much hanging space, I've got to say. Again, it's enough for us, just about, but there's not loads of it, especially not a lot of space to like hang a dress, something long. A few more things to point out. Every cabin now has a recycling bin and I really like that. That's a good start. And then we have a full length mirror, another great mirror. This cabin has a lot of mirrors, which gives a great sense of space and light. If I move to the right, you can see um, the do not disturb sign, the make up my room sign for the cabin steward. And by the front door, there are two pegs. We all know that Go With Joe loves a peg. Go with Joe also likes a good bathroom. Let's check it out. This bathroom is actually a really good sized bathroom, decent size for a cruise ship. Again, another great big mirror. This cabin is about six mirrors and it really does enhance the decor. The 
bathroom is stylish. I like the shape of the sink and the cupboard is underneath. The soap is in this dispenser. They don't have any body lotion, so bring some with. There aren't a whole load of mod cons. The shower does have a glass shower door. We all know I really prefer glass. That's fantastic as opposed to a clingy shower curtain. There are dispensers here. One's got shampoo in, one's got shower gel in, and there is a bar to put your leg on. I guess that's if you want to shave your legs. And by the way, good to know, this cabin interconnects with a cabin next door. So if you've got kids, you're traveling with people, this cabin connects, really good to know. Now, let me show you the balcony. It is a chilly day. I don't really want to go outside right now, but I do want to show you this space, actually. It's a decent size. You've got two chairs, a little footrest or table, whatever you want to do with it. I will sit down just to say, hello, Southampton. That's the port that I'm in right now. What a great cabin. I really hope you enjoyed my review video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's a little circle gonna come up on the screen round about there. Click on it and do look out for my other videos on MSC Eurybia. Happy traveling.